Year after year, rhinoplasty remains one of the most popular cosmetic procedures. But can you get a similar result without surgery? Dr. Orton is in our procedure room right now putting to the test a treatment that claims to instantly lift the tip of the nose. Dr. O? Yes, sir. We love our rhinoplasty. And, and joining us today is facial plastic surgeon and rhinoplasty expert, Dr. Deepak Dugar, and he's going to demonstrate on the lovely Patricia his injection rhinoplasty. Now, Doc, two steps, correct? Yes, Botox and fillers. Botox we did six days ago, yep. so the effect is kicked in, and now we're gonna do it with the fillers. So we're gonna use the filler to lift the tip of the nose. So I'm gonna have you go ahead and lean back. And before you go on, yes. <laughs> explain to us what you've achieved with the Botox. You're, you're blocking certain yes. muscles, right? Exactly. We use them for wrinkles, but what are you trying to achieve So here? typically we use Botox for wrinkles, but with her, there's a muscle underneath the nose called the depressor nasi, which we love to weaken just a little bit so that when she's smiling, it doesn't pull down as much. I actually have the same problem in my nose, and so it's my personal need, or it came if from. If you have extra bo Botox, I can take care of that later. <laughs> yes. but, but you know, for to understand that, that if you have a nose is pulling down, if you block this and you bolster this area, you see how that tip will come up, and in the process, if you have a small bump, that no, that bump disappears as you raise that tip. That's right, that's right. So we're gonna put a little filler at the bottom to lift it up, and we will start right now. Take it away, Doc. All right, go ahead and lay back for me, and we'll begin. <laughs> so Dr. Dugar, what makes her a particularly good candidate for this procedure? So she's a great candidate because honestly, she has a beautiful nose and shape, but she just needs a little bit of support at the base of her nose. This area right between the medial crura is just a little under supported. So what we do is we like to lift it and give her just a little bit of extra support. Almost the same technique we would do during surgery where we place what's called plumping graft sometimes to lift the tip of the nose. So it's sort of a one, two, where you're using the Botox to sort of untether and then the filler to, to give it a strut or to prop it up? That's exactly the right way to think about it. You're using the filler just to give it a strut and you're able to lift it up just a little bit. I see that coming up already. And we're gonna do a T technique where we do a little bit from the side and a little bit from the front. As with all fillers, how long would this result last? So typically with this type of filler, we're gonna last about one to two years. Depends on the type of filler used, but the thicker types will last you about one to two years. How much would the cost of a procedure like this compare to surgery? So typically this type of procedure would cost somewhere around $1,000, but surgery could cost anywhere from 10 to 20,000. So significant so now, savings. Now explain what you're doing, that you're doing some plumping, you're raising so above and below her uh, hump yes. to straighten her profile. Exactly, so part of the lifting of the tip, the effect is also to smoothen out the profile. And we do that by putting a little bit of filler above and below the bump so that it makes the tip of the nose look lifted and the profile look smooth. And by doing both, you get the best effect and you achieve the highest result. So guys, before we go, if you had this procedure done, you liked the result, say a year or two passes and you say, I want this permanently, then surgically you could theoretically achieved the same exact look. Yes. That's exactly with, with, right. With permanent results. And rhinoplasty has always been popular, and so this is actually a really great way for people to kind of try it first and yeah. see if they're gonna get that result and maybe even use it to tweak mm -hmm. what they really want it to look like before they decide to go for that permanent Yeah, decision. because God forbid you don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> You could, okay, well, I gotta I got wait this out for a year or so, as opposed to. But, but I think it's important to point out, you really, if you're gonna do something like this, need an expert, because the blood vessels on the nose yes. are tiny, and if you happen to put filler in them and you clot them off, you can actually necrose the tissue there. You can have a really devastating outcome. What do you think, Doc? You ready? Let's, let's do it. Let's ready? do the reveal. Patricia, I want you to check this out. Looks pretty good. If you can Come sit on, up sit for up. us. All right, let's Take see Take a this. look in the mirror. Wow, I can see it. Oh my gosh, I can you see, see that difference, difference already. That's crazy, yeah. All right, and Patricia, wow. if I can get you to look towards me, we want to get you in profile because I think you're probably going to see that change most dramatically. So if we can take a look at Patricia before. Wow. And Impressive. compare how Patricia looks nice now job. just after a couple minutes of, of treatment. So a great, a great option out there in the hands of an expert.